Good morning, welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Saturday the 13th of March, episode number 775. Um, not got long this morning because there's a ton of football on and um, got some Zoom as well, lunchtime, um, to do with a few of you. Um, you boys, you do make me laugh. Some good old chuckles this morning. The old Villa fans and all sorts. You're just an entertaining bunch. You do just brighten up the morning when I'm sitting doing my spreadsheets and seeing your nonsense pop up. Um, as a result, we got two polls going on Twitter. I was going to do the Louise and Deer poll because Sugsy's still going on that uh, Deer's better and he couldn't have Louise. The, guy, the guy's just miles better, but he's clueless, and he? We know he's clueless. Um and uh, and then the old Villa fans trying to goad me that Jack's better than Harry. Best Englishman one put. Um, so we got a poll. Who would you rather have in your team, Kane or Grealish? Go and answer that one. Try and answer sensibly. I know that's beyond some of you. Um, and who would you rather have in central defence, Luis or Dia? Be interesting to see. Currently Kane and Luis out in front. Because obviously I know what I'm talking about. Um further kick back about this own crowd business I think people are just doing it to wind me up I can't I'm struggling to handle it now I'll be honest I, I think it's just being done on purpose sticks are being poked so I'm not going to bite I'm just going to chillax um, there was someone else I had to talk about I can't remember old golf guru's got a couple up there isn't he? Chris Kirk at 100 Garcia at 60 advised um, certainly back on form I think this year he's had a in amongst it already had a 50 to 1 winner so I am I am hopeful of a good year be nice if one of them two can get across the line um, I imagine some have traded on I know Garcia went into about four um, but Kirk probably sitting a little bit higher and, and fair play Westwood making a bit of a resurgence in his career um, obviously tied for the lead going into the last round last week and finished second and he's up leading um here but I don't think he'll win it I'll be honest um, I think when push comes to shove old Lily misses a few putts that matter um, won all last night Newcastle um, I'll tell you a story about that next week just got a little thing going with the boys um, I will report in on that next week right let's do today's football because I can't remember the other thing um, Cheltenham details I'll have as I say over the next couple of days um, hopefully be able to get something out to you um, tomorrow um, I'll um, do that all via email telegram twitter okay so um, just some some other bets oh hang on now I'm trading this game in Russia has there been a goal I'm trying to do about 800 things at once no there hasn't that's okay uh, right what we got here we have got today's football mm. Um, over the weekend so I said I'd have a look at some of the fixed odd stuff so I've done that for you um, teams I like home wins this week uh, Union Berlin against Köln uh, in the Bundesliga that's 2.30 today Union Berlin versus Köln um, Leipzig tomorrow at 2.30 if they stay above 1.8 they're about 1.87 now um, if they drip below 1.8 then I wouldn't touch them but um, if you want to back them above that anything above 1.8 is good uh, and a team I do think a good value again are Sevilla uh, and that's 8 o'clock tomorrow so Union Berlin Leipzig and Sevilla um, put them in a treble Sugsy um, and then first half goals uh, I've got uh, Angers in the French league that's 12 o'clock today Angers versus Saint Etienne um, first half goal um, we have got uh, Bundesliga Wolfsburg Schalke uh, first half goal so again these you know I do these 20-25 minutes in Wolfsburg Schalke um, Schalke being desperate this year but uh, Wolfsburg going quite well so Wolfsburg Schalke first half goal Angers first half goal I'm trying to find another one. Oh, and the other one's tomorrow again in the Bundesliga at 5 o'clock uh, Stuttgart Hoffenheim um, quite like Stuttgart to win that game but there just wasn't enough in it but Stuttgart Hoffenheim uh, first half goal and then I've got a two and a half and this one I would wait until the price gets to two in play and then drip it in if it goal goes in before it gets to two leave it 
um, Willem 2 versus Hirenveen, which is today at 3.30. Willem 2 versus Hirenveen. Uh, over two and a half, as I say, if it gets to 2.0, drip it in, trade from there. How I trade those, if a goal goes in, I, I usually just sit on it and let it get back to my entry price. If there hasn't been a second goal, you can scratch. If a second goal goes in before you get back to your entry price, then you can um, you can make a bit of hay. So that's all those bits. I've got some others as well. Hold on a second. That's all off one sheet. Um, I have got uh, over one and a half goals at Kestelon versus Sabadell this evening at 7.30. Um, so that is a game again if it gets 20 minutes in back over one and a half goals if a goal goes in first half I tend to let it ride through the second half uh, but you can remove liability and trade Castellon Sabadell uh, Sabadell 7.30 in Segunda and um, where are we here I've yeah, got more sheets than I know what to do with more sheets than um, Daily Mirror um, not that one uh, a couple of late goals for you uh, again tonight 8.30 Tondela versus Sporting Lisbon Tondela Sporting Lisbon so if that is 0-0 nil, nil, um, uh, sorry if that is any score 0-0 nil, nil to 3-3 three, three, and there hasn't been a second half goal uh, by the 70th minute drip lay the current score line so if it was 1-0 you could drip lay 1-0 in the correct score market or lay under 1.5 goals uh, and the same bet at Lechia Gdansk 4.30 today versus Vizsla Krakow. Uh, Lechia Gdansk versus Vizsla Krakow. Fluent Polish once again. Um, so quite a bit of football there to get your teeth into. See, by doing the Friday preview, shortening the pods, it enables me to give you a bit more over the weekends to get your teeth into. Uh, the golf I will keep an eye on. Not sure whether I'll do anything. Certainly if Westwood keeps going and gets low, low, I may lay him. Um, I'll put that up on Twitter and Telegram. Uh, enjoy the North London derby today. Be interested if you could genuinely answer those polls on Twitter, honestly. I'm interested to see what the what the troops think. Um, and I will be back with you all on Monday um, for Mindset Monday. And then obviously we're into Cheltenham week as well and the Cheltenham stuff, as I say. I'll get out to you as soon as I get the opportunity. Have a lovely weekend at the Spurs. Let's hope we give those gooners a good old stuff in tomorrow. And I'll speak to you on Monday.